we play around of underrated, overrated. First, we have the Face Clan. What do you think about the Face Clan? I think Face Clan is an underrated team because I think they are a pretty good team. They have the right players for each role. And I hear a lot of people saying that they are number one, but they were not as dominant as Australis, maybe. But I think they are a really good team with perfect roles. And I think they are underrated. They are a little bit overrated <clears throat> right now. Oh, they are the actual major champions. They are the best team in the world right now. But in my opinion, they doesn't reach not yet dominant era in yeah. CS. They are a little bit <clears throat> overrated right now. For me, he's the best in the world. He's a pretty much insane guy, and I think he de he deserves the overrated title. I have to say he's not overrated because he's really good, and I and I don't see anyone underrating him. It's deserved why he's high for. We have our favorite weapon here, <laughs> the taser. Favorite weapon for art, maybe. <laughs> uh, I think Zeus is terrible. A lot of people buy it too much, maybe. It's two hundred dollars, but it doesn't give a uh, cash return back. So I think it's overrated. I think it sucks for so much. Uh, I hate to see my my teammates playing with with Taser. I think it's kind of troll, you know. Uh, so for me, it's completely. Six. I think Twitch is overrated. I think it's a, a good uh, streaming platform, but at least in Brazil, we don't have another option. And I think Twitch is really bad with a lot of ads nowadays and not returning so much for a lot of uh, small streamers. So I think Twitch is overrated because there is not a, really another option. So you would welcome a second big streaming platform, like yeah. a competitor yeah. for. Yeah, a lot, a lot of streaming platforms started to grow in Brazil, but they like vanished really quickly. Uh, I love skins so much, but I think <laughs> Dragon Lore, in my opinion, is overrated. The skins is so valuable because the the heredity. I think other skins are pretty much beautiful than Dragon Lore, yeah. like Op Gangnir, uh, Op Prince, yeah. Op Medusa, but it's lower than Dragon Lore in terms of price. I think the Dragon Lore is definitely not underrated. I think it's deserved. I think it's a really, really nice skin. So, your next game <laughs> <laughs> is against okay. Pain Gaming. What yeah. do you think about them? I think they got really two changes recently. Uh, one with Schools okay. and another one, another one with Zevi. I think they are a good team. They did win against Imperial recently. But I think they are a bit overrated with our current lineup. I'm really happy to play against them. Do you expect to beat them? Yeah. We, especially after this bootcamp. Yeah, especially <laughs> after the bootcamp. We are really confident that now bootcamp in Germany. Our first opponents in RMR, they are with a new lineup, a fresh lineup, with two new additions of Skulls and Zevi. So for me, they are a little bit overrated. We are better than them and we show it on the server. Okay. You guys will know. Have you played Veteran? Yeah, a little bit on the beta. It's overrated for all. Uh, I don't like yeah, no, no, no much the game. So much powerful, so much things happening in the game. And I don't like kind of stuff of different characters, you know, different. Uh, yeah, yeah. I like the, the same people doing everything everybody can do. like. On CSGO, yeah. everyone has AKs, everyone has M4s, smokes, no, no one has like different abilities. I no. never, never installed it. Uh, <laughs> I did watch some Val Valorant recently. It's a, it's a cool game. I don't really like to, to watch it that much. Uh, but it has a really good competitive scene, especially now it's franchise. I can't say much because I never actually installed it. Which weapon is totally overrated and which weapon is totally underrated for you? Okay, underrated, I would say Galil. Okay. A lot of people don't really like it, but I think it's a really good weapon for its price and it has a really easy uh, spray control, uh, underrated I'd say Galil, and I think there there is a lot of good good weapons like the AWP, maybe mm -hmm. it's not overrated. Uh, no, it's uh, almost like OP. I think <laughs> OP is really really OP right now yeah. because of its price money and it has so a lot of bullets. So yeah, underrated Galil, Thomas. I okay. think it's really trash weapon. I uh, <laughs> I say. 
I said to my team that I prefer to play with a Glock than with the Fawns because they take it really sucks, it's more expensive than Galil and the spray control is terrible and yeah, mm. overrated Fawns and underrated Galil The Galil, it's a little bit underrated most of the players doesn't like to play with her. For me, it's a very strong weapon. The auto shotgun is a pretty much underrated. She's so powerful, in my opinion. Like in close angles, you can you can do some highlights. <laughs> and overrated, I don't say overrated, but I say OP. For me, the the AWP needs a new adjustment, like a higher price than 4K, 750. For me, it needs to be higher price and less bullets. So that's the, the over and underrated for me. Okay, I think that's it. Thank that's you. it. Thank you, Leo. Nice. <laughs> nice one. Thanks.